Well hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wild Your Garden and in this video well I know recently some of you have been saying oh more videos on butterflies and moths so I'm absolutely trying to tick that box for you all and today I want to share with you one of my favourite UK butterflies. Now I'm not actually in the UK at the moment I'm in southwest France so it's an absolute delight to stumble across this little beauty and I cannot believe I have. I was just not expecting to see this butterfly here at all. I'm in the middle of a what's probably a 10 acre wildflower meadow surveying and hoping to carry out a bit of a rewilding project where we are going to be planting a lot of native trees and shrubs in part of the meadow to try and encourage more bird species in. So stay tuned to the channel for that one. And I've already done another video on the meadow here and the difference and similarities between what we should be having here in the, or here, between here in France and in the UK. However, in this video, I am showing you <laughs> this gorgeous, dainty, and it's the most dainty butterfly you will ever see. And it is the wood white. Now, why? Is it called the wood white? I hear you say. Well, in the UK, that's actually just gone up. It's going to drop back down again. I'll go and go and sound it out. They just disappear when they close their wings. There it is. It's down there on the grass you can just see. Now what I love about the wood white and the reason it's here is because behind me you can just see this flight is just so delicate and dainty it's almost like they're just you know really lazily going through the grasses although it looks very kind of laboured the flight but it's absolutely gorgeous. And the reason they're here is because they lay on bird's foot trefoil, greater bird's foot trefoil, meadow vetchling, of which there are, there's definitely a bird's foot trefoil in this meadow, but I just wasn't expecting to see it there. Where I've seen them in sort of Northamptonshire in the UK, they're in more of a kind of a wet woodland ride on, um, I think it was meadow vetchling, I can't quite remember now. Uh, it was, it's that long since I've seen this butterfly. I've only seen it two or three times in the wild in the UK and they are declining sadly because of course they're losing a lot of the food plants losing a lot through um, habitat loss and they have this incredible um, courtship dance that they do which I've only ever seen once and they have with you'll see with the images that I'm putting in they have these kind of almost sort of droopy antennas um, whereas most butterflies have quite straight antennae they 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 kind of droop over a little bit with um uh well i don't know why but they they have this amazing kind of courtship display where the male and the female sort of face each other and then they do this kind of little antenna dance it's very very sweet um and i'll say i say as i say i've only seen that once in the wild so wonderful to see i don't expect to see that today but what an absolute gem of an insect I mean, this meadow has really thrown up some <laughs> butterflies today. I've, you know, I've seen things like clouded yellow. Um, I think I've seen Glanville fritillary, which I had to go to the Isle of Wight to see in the UK. Um, there's at least another couple of species of fritillary. Marble whites everywhere, meadow browns everywhere, skippers, six spot bonnet moths, hummingbird hawk moths. Oh, you name it, they're in here. It's just an incredible habitat. And obviously meadows are something that we've lost 97% of in the UK. And I've done a full sort of 10 minute video on this meadow. So do check that out. But just really wanted to share a quick video with you guys today of this gorgeous little insect. Um, and they are just absolutely phenomenal. So check out uh, your local spots. They are in the Midlands. I'm not quite sure their distribu distribution throughout the UK, but they're not very common at all. And uh, you'll mostly have to go to sort of wet woodland rides to see them. I believe they can be sort of, uh, double brooded, but um, again, it's that long since I've researched them. <laughs> I'm a little bit rusty, but yeah, what an absolutely gorgeous insect. Anyway, really hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Hope it's given you a bit of an insight as to the Lepidoptera world. I shall obviously endeavour to bring you more videos on all the ways in which you can help wildlife in videos to come and some of the flora and fauna I come across in my travels 
oh, around the world it seems. Anyway, I'm here in southwest France. I'm heading off shortly after this consultation down to the Pyrenees to see what I can find there, both florally and in terms of butterflies, birds and everything else. So stay tuned, lots more content to come. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.